dumbbell Yates row. So this is gonna have a pretty similar setup to our narrow row. The big difference is gonna be the direction the palms are facing and hence the muscles were activating. I know, such a small change, such a big difference. So setting up, as with any row, feet are straight forward on those train tracks. We're gonna initiate the hinge with our hips, feeling the stretch in the back of the hips, the glutes, and the hamstrings. And remember, we stop between that parallel with the floor and standing. So right in between those spaces. From here, we're gonna flip the palms forward, elbows pulling up and alongside the rib cage, release. Squeeze the shoulder blades to initiate the row, keeping the shoulders down the back. And what I mean by that is, as you row, make sure the top of the shoulder doesn't dump forward. Really think of the space between the shoulder blades, squeezing together. Inhale and exhale. You can pull the heels apart energetically to recruit a little bit more through the booty. If you start to feel it in the low back, squeeze the butt, come back up descending and reset with nice tight core. And again, feeling the stretch in the glutes and hamstrings.